Built in 1965, the former TCN9 TX transmission tower at Willoughby was one of Sydney's most recognisable landmarks for more than 50 years. The 233-metre lattice tower replaced what was Sydney's first television tower, built in 1956, and was one of three towers known as the Artarman Triangle that broadcast television on behalf of major media companies before being decommissioned in February 2021. When our client, Mervac, gained approval to redevelop the site into a new residential community, they knew they needed to remove the tower, they just didn't know how. There were multiple ideas put forward to remove the tower. These included using a gin pole, using helicopters, which would have required shutting the freeway, until we finally landed on the proposal to use a crane. Knowing they needed a different way of thinking for designing and managing the process of dismantling the tower, Mervac assembled a team of experts, including Ma Contracting, Robert Bird Group, and critical infrastructure experts Cordia, along with the construction team at Mervac, to come up with a solution. At the height of a 77-storey building, the tower's height, unique structure and proximity to residential homes and one of Sydney's busiest freeways meant that safely dismantling the tower was a complex task from the outset. We got contacted about this project two years before we were even on site. Mervac had given us a challenge to start looking at it at a high level and start to think about a solution about how they were going to pull this structure down, you know, 233 metres high in an urban area next to a freeway and a structure that was 50, 60 years old, I think even older, 70 years old or whatever it was. So it's, you know, it was a hell of a structure to try and pull down and traditionally you'd be, we'd be looking at how do we attach to the structure how do we tie to it to support a crane solution? But that was just something that wasn't possible. We quickly determined that wasn't going to work because there wasn't enough information on the actual structure itself um, and it was old. And we had to come up with a, a solution that let us sort of stand independent of that structure. So it was a, it was a really big challenge, but you know, that's what we loved doing. However, because the decommissioned tower was not able to accommodate lateral supports, the challenge from a craneage point of view was to find a way to get the crane hook height above 233 metres without the need to build expensive and complicated temporary structures to support the crane. After 18 months of consultation, planning and peer review with the project stakeholders to initially assess what was structurally feasible with our existing specialist equipment, the team designed a unique approach involving the use of our M2480D tower system and the introduction of guy wires to laterally support the tower crane in extreme weather and allow the crane to climb to a freestanding height that had never been done before. The traditional crane edge on this S structure is that you would have a structure that is much stiffer than the crane itself. As you go up or down, you would tie to them in stages, but this was all open, there was nothing in there to be able to restrain the structure. So then um, Murabak brought the idea of how we, of how we guide cable it. The solution evolved to a freestanding Favel Favco M310D on 193 metres of heavy duty tower sections, which gave an underhook height of 248 metres. The crane was attached to a single set of stayed guy wires at a midpoint, 81 metres above ground, anchored into the bedrock via four independent foundations, which were each 41 metres from the centre line of the tower. With the crane initially erected at a freestanding height of 117 metres, it self-installed the guy wires and continued climbing to the final height of 193 metres. The selection of Mars' unique heavy-duty tower sections that we were able to deploy to the project from our M2480D fleet meant that the crane was able to free stand at 193 metres, with the guy wires effectively only in place to deal with design requirements as a contingency in the event of a 100-year storm weather event. To reduce the number of lifts required, Mars also designed a solution for swapping out the 16-tonne capacity M310D used to remove the top parts of the tower to a 150-tonne capacity M1280D heavy lift luffer to remove larger sections of the tower weighing up to 60 tonnes lower down. 
Removing the tower in larger sections eliminated the need for the temporary works and the associated engineering to support the tower structure in its partially dismantled state. This reduced the lifting requirements from 90 planned lifts to just 36 larger lifts, having a direct benefit to the project in terms of safety, program and cost. After months of planning and peer review, and with Sydney in a full COVID-19 lockdown, the first sections of the tower were safely removed, and over the next three weeks, the top half of the tower was removed in sections. After completing the lighter lifts at maximum height, Mars crew climbed the M310D crane down to its original freestanding height of 117 metres, where it was removed by Mars Grove GMK6400 and replaced by the 150 tonne capacity M1280D heavy lift luffer freestanding on 76 metres of tower to lift the larger sections and layers of the tower weighing up to 60 tonnes. Despite the additional logistical challenges posed by lockdown restrictions, over the next three months, the tower was dismantled, safely and without incident, ahead of schedule. This project was a remarkable feat of engineering, ingenuity and collaboration. And for Mars team, it was a great example of what can be achieved by a client engaging us early in the design process and being willing to think differently about how the right craneage solution can deliver value to a project. One of the key benefits that allowed us to get off and do our work was that we had all these different partners in the project who were all focused on, on how do we deliver this, this project safely. And, and there needed to be vision, a, a real vision in there about how we could do it differently.